Hey buddies, welcome to Mask Games. My name is Simon. This is a how to set up plane of view for the family weight game, the Llama Tastic Llama Land by Phil Walker Harding. Build your terrace in the mountain of the sun. This is a completely uh, filled out game at the end of the scoring in a two player game. Let me just clear off thing, everything off and show you how it works. So you may have heard of other games such as things you've seen on the channel, such as Bear and Park. This is a game where you are looking to get the highest amount of points by placing out llamas and set collecting. This will be the standard game. This involves the variant, and well not variants, but basically the module involving scoring extra stuff as well. There's a beginner game where you don't have to worry about objectives, and there's a, 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 a expert version as well. So as you can see, there's numerous polyomino tiles. These are all pentominoes, there's all fives of them, which make it very interesting and, and crunchy think as to how to play it. So what do you do in your turn? Well, starting with whatever amounts you're ever going to start is going to get one coin. Basically, two coins allows you to make into a, a different resource. Two for going second, as an example. And what you're going to be doing is looking to see, well, what are these things you want to try and score up? So let's start off with looking through these objectives. You might want to take a token. So you take out this as an example. And then what you're going to do is, on a future turn, try and cover it up. So if you place something next to it, let's say, I don't know, like this. It allows you to take one of your tokens, let's say I'm playing red, and place it out into one of these locations. So in a two-player game, you cover up the middle one, and if I can get four of these corn-feeding alpacas, then I'll get myself 15 victory points. So I go over there, and when I go on a future turn, once they've taken their turn, let's say I can cover something up. So let's say I cover up here, I get what I cover up. In this case, I get two cacao. So I take two cacao, and then I can crack on with my next thing. So that's how that's gonna work until I have four, and of course then I can buy them. You obviously buy the most expensive one and they go and they descend in obviously attraction in terms of value. So at the end of the game, you'll get points equal to what's on them. There's also objective cards and other people that you can hire because sometimes you can cover over things such as coins, cacao, obviously corn and potatoes. And if you also can hire somebody as well, so five of these are gonna be available in, in view in this Clemens France illustration. So you'll find it in my Clemens France playlist, my how to set up play and review playlist, family eight playlist, and the mass games playlist. So if you can cover over something with a, a house symbol, you can pick one of these cards and as you can see, you can convert one resource should you need to. And then of course, the need will replenish. Very nice game, a 7.4 out of 10 for me, which is exactly the same actually that is on Board Game Geek at time of recording. Quite bitey as someone tries to get what you need. Try and get on four different levels, try and get yourself 12 points if you go there first. But if someone takes it uh, by obviously choosing to do this action, then you'll have to spend an action yourself to try and go somewhere else. You only actually have three to place out as well. Very interesting. I think I may even prefer it to Baron Park. I do like the way these alpacas, or sorry, these llamas do jump up. They seem to hurt very nicely. Uh, as you can see in this instance, what this means is they cannot be near the edge. You do have some of these wild tiles which you can place out and then of course you can cover things over. You cannot cover things over to get the bonus but if you place something like this that might be useful in a future turn whereby, I don't know, you can actually get this out. So that might flip, you might place this out and you can never do something unless it actually overlaps at least two other tiles so like that. In a future turn you might want to try and cover that up, try and go higher up as well, but like the game number nine. So a close score, it runs into the 100 figures sort of low 100s, and there's a score pad which is very useful to actually figure out what you want to do next. So lots of variety, a lot of options, and someone's made a nice little paper insert which doesn't come with the game. Uh, lovely looking alpacas, and any questions let me know in the comments best on YouTube. Also like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and via Instagram you'll see over 3,000 posts, including obviously pictures going up for this, including the beginning of the game and the end of game setup. And lastly, obviously join the discussion on Facebook. Obviously the description is best in YouTube and check out the comments that are best. For now, back to the table.